Well, I think uh, we thought uh, Romania was uh, very, very important because they had made many contributions in echocardiography. So we decided that it would be a good idea for Romania to have this World Congress. And we knew many people. We knew Dr. Epetrai, Professor Epetrai. We knew Professor Coman, Professor Jinjina, Professor Popescu, and uh, Iliasu. And uh, we thought they'll be able to organize this Congress very well, and they have done it. And we have uh, 750 people who are already pre-registered. So I think we might, might have almost 1,000 persons here in this Congress. And it's very well organized. The audiovisual facilities are excellent. Uh, the hotel is very good. And uh, having all the hotels nearby is very, very convenient to everyone. And the scientific content is very high because we have very internationally renowned speakers who are going to give uh, talks and very well organized programs. So we're really very happy. What are the hot topics you are going to present in this Congress? Yeah, I think the hot topics are going to be some of the recent advances in echocardiography, like three-dimensional echocardiography and four-dimensional echocardiography. I think there are going to be something on myocardial mechanics. Uh, there will be going to be talks on contrast echocardiography and also on uh, echocardiography uh, using smaller machines now, how they become very popular also. So these are the major topics that are going to be presented in this Congress. And these will have a lot of benefit for patient care. Uh, because uh, the more and more advances occur, uh, the machines become cheaper and, uh, and therefore more uh, people can take advantage of uh, this uh, technique. I think uh, the next step is uh, going to be more uh, improved image quality because the quality of the 3D echocardiography is still not perfect. So it's going to be uh, more, uh, it's going to be perfected in the next uh, few years. And, uh, and I think uh, some of the manufacturers are still not uh, doing three-dimensional echocardiography, so that's going to happen. Also, many of the technologists are afraid of three-dimensional echocardiography. They are doing two-dimensional echocardiography, but they're not really sure uh, how to do three-dimensional echocardiography, so there has to, there'll be more training in three-dimensional echocardiography. And maybe we'll have uh, simulations, uh, uh, models, uh, which will train them. So training is very, very important in three-dimensional. Also, you have to change your mindset because we are uh, looking at uh, little uh, motions and calling them the valves when they really don't look like the valves we see at surgery or in pathology. So uh, I think the mindset has to change and we have to think more in terms of looking at the heart in three dimensions than in two dimensions that we've been doing for many, many years now. I think uh, the, the thing what I've achieved is uh, the pleasure and, uh, and the satisfaction of knowing that the people who have trained have now occupied very high positions, have become very prominent. And I think that has given me a lot of pleasure. Uh, and, uh, and I see so many people here with whom I've interacted in the past, you know, yeah. Well, the, the message I want to send to you is to this is really should uh, keep on uh, working, uh, working very hard. Uh, they really need to improve the quality of the health of, uh, of all the people. And I think they should use echocardiography more often than they might have been using in the past uh, because that immediately spots many diseases in the very early stages. And the techniques have advanced so much that we can spot them very quickly and uh, many diseases can be treated uh, very early before they become very advanced.